Hello everyone, welcome to Around the World. In today's video, we are going to study and take a look at the United States of America. Let's go! The United States of America, or the USA. The great majority of Americans are peoples whose ancestors came from Europe, from Great Britain, Ireland, Germany, Italy, Poland and Scandinavia. Many of the people have ancestors from Europe, Africa and Asia. The African Americans are most numerous in the South, in such states as the Mississippi and Alabama. There are also large numbers of American Indians, natives of America, who now live mainly in their own areas, called reservations. The Native Americans, such as the Navajo, have communities in the Southwest of America. Along the Pacific coast live about a quarter of a million Japanese and Chinese, chiefly in California. They or their ancestors came from distant countries to work and settle in the United States. Out of this mixture of peoples of different race and colour, the Americans have made themselves into the busiest, richest nation in the world. For many years they have produced more coal, oil and iron ore than have manufactured more steel than any other nation. They own more ships, they make and own more aircraft and railway locomotives than any other people of any other country. They make and own well over of the half of the world's motor vehicles. In New York City, the Americans have built the most wonderful city of modern times. The passengers on the transatlantic liners have a superb view of the skyscrapers as they approach the harbour. Towering above all is the Empire State Building, which rises to 1,250 feet above street level. One of the greatest thrills for visitors to New York is to ascend its tower and look over the great city beneath. Every weekday, hundreds of thousands of Americans throng into New York to work there. In their leisure time, they like to watch the baseball game or visit the many cinemas and theatres. During the summer, millions of Americans enjoy the sea, the beach and the amusements of Coney Island. This famous resort stands on Long Island only a few miles away from the centre of New York City and visitors can reach it quickly by car or electric railway. They also like to visit the shore in Jersey Shore in New Jersey, the Garden State. The United States has many large cities in the Northeast, the chief industrial area of this country. Chicago, the largest of them, is a busy manufacturing city and a port like New York for it stands on the shores of Lake Michigan but it is also near some of the richest farmlands of the United States. Chicago is also the center of the country's vast railway system and an important steel manufacturing city. Steamers bring coal and iron ore to its steelworks via the Great Lakes. The five Great Lakes were formed during the last ice age and contains 20% of the world's fresh water. The area around the lake is rich in natural resources including coal, iron, copper and timber. When the USA became independent in 1776, people gradually spread towards the Mississippi River and downwards to the southern states. In the late 19th and 20th centuries, thousands of immigrants from all over the world passed through New York on the way to their new lives elsewhere in the USA. Around the Great Lakes from Wisconsin to New York City State is the region of dairy farms and Wisconsin is sometimes called the Dairy Land of America Milk from the healthy black and white cattle helps to feed the children of Chicago and other nearby towns. It is made into evaporated milk and cheese. To the west and southwest of America's dairyland are the cornfields of Iowa and Illinois, the golden wheat fields of North Dakota and Kansas. The farmers of the corn growing area own some of the finest farming land in the world and the farmer obtains great crops from the fertile soil. Most of the corn, or maize, he feeds to his cattle and pigs, which later provide meat for the American dinner table. The wheat farmer, like the corn farmer, uses the most up-to-date machinery, from tractors, steel plows, and huge combine harvesters. Often he and his son do all the work on the farm, with perhaps one or two hired workers at harvest time. The cotton farmers of the southern states, especially Texas, Mississippi and Alabama, help to clothe the American people and the peoples of many other nations. Thousands of them still work in the cotton fields, especially at harvest time, 
picking the fluffy white lint from the plants and filling their own sacks. But changes have come to the cotton lands. On the larger farms, the farmers now use huge cotton picking machines. One man drives the machine slowly along the rows of plants, doing the work of scores of some human pickers. In Florida, the farmers grow large quantities of grapefruit. This fruit has become such a part of the American breakfast as cornflakes. In Florida, summers are hot and winters are mild, and the seaside resort of Miami has some of the world famous beaches and luxurious hotels and all kinds of amusements. Florida is also the home of Disneyland. For hundreds of miles, and the lower Mississippi winds to and fro over a plain, carrying and dropping enormous quantities of sediment. It has built up its bed, so much the water level is often above surrounding land. American engineers have therefore had to build embankments, or levees, to prevent the river from flooding towns and villages. Near the delta of the Mississippi is the city of New Orleans. There are many Italians and French amongst its people, and it was their ancestors who long ago began the celebration of the city's gorgeous carnival. This carnival is held before Lent. It includes pageants, processions and dances, and ends with the famous Mardi Gras. On Shrove Tuesday, west of New Orleans and near the coasts of Louisiana and Texas is one of the richest oil fields. There are others in northern Texas as well as in neighboring Oklahoma and distant California. So many wells have been drilled in part of Texas that the ground seems to be covered with a forest of derricks. Both oil and natural gas was pumped from the oil fields through a network of pipelines to different regions in the United States. Year after year, the country needs more liquid fuel to drive motor cars, aircraft, ships, locomotive and tractors. East of the Rocky Mountains, from Texas in the south to Montana in the north, stretches a vast area of grassland. Long ago it was one of the home of herds of wild buffalo. White hunters later killed many of the bison, but a small herd is still preserved. Today, enormous amounts of cattle and sheep graze on these fields. There are dude ranches where summer holidaymakers may dress up like cowgirls and cowboys and ride the range. On the real ranches, the cowboys no longer have to fight red Indians and cattle thieves, but they still show visitors what fine horsemen they are. Many towns hold a rodeo, and one of the most popular items on the program is for the cowboys to ride untamed horses. Another favourite trick is to throw a steer, where the steer is let loose into the coral. The cowboy gallops after it on horseback, then he leaps from his horse, grabs its horns and throws it to the ground, all in a few seconds. In some districts, the Indians help to entertain summer visitors. They set up their teepees, they wear their favoured headdresses and costumes, and hold horse races, war dances and other items. The United States is an immensely varied country, in her scenery and the wildlife as well as her peoples. In the far north is Alaska, whose northern coasts face the frozen Arctic Ocean for long winter months. The native people of Alaska are the Eskimos and Indians, but they prefer to be called Inuits. Among the animals in which the Eskimos hunt are many bears, including the polar bear. White fishermen catch salmon in enormous numbers and take the fish to canneries. The Indians preserve much of the salmon which they catch in the summer by drying it thus providing themselves with food for the winter. Alaska is linked with the rest of the United States by the Alaska Highway through Canada to Fairbanks, as well as by sea. Her town of Anchorage has become an important international airport. Some hundreds of miles south of Alaska, along the Pacific coast, are the states of Washington and Oregon. Washington, D.C. is the capital of America. Washington and Oregon are also famous for their lovely orchards of apples, pears and cherries. In the warm climate, still farther south, many of the people of California also are fruit farmers. They grow apples, oranges, grapes and lemons, peaches, pears and plums, and numerous other fruits. In the drier parts of California, the farmers have to use water from distant reservoirs. American engineers have built several huge dams in the west as to provide water for irrigation. On the Columbia River in Washington is the Grand Coulee Dam, the largest in the world. On the Sacramento River in California, the Shasta Dam. In her magnificent forests, California has the world's largest trees, the sequoias. 
Some of these trees are over 300 feet tall and hundreds of years old. Between fruitful California and the Priories is some of the country's finest mountain scenery. Colorado alone has about 50 peaks rising to about 14,000 feet above sea level. Their crags are the home of the wild Rocky Mountain sheep and such birds as the Golden Eagle. The dry lands of the United States are also in the southwest, the Sandy Death Valley, California, which lies below sea level, the weird arches of Utah, all carved by nature from the rocks, and the adobe Indian villages of New Mexico. One of the greatest wonders is the Grand Canyon of the Colorado River in Arizona. This immense chasm is several miles wide and places over a mile deep. For about 280 miles, the river winds along at the foot of the gigantic cliffs. Among lands which have too much water are the swamps of Florida, the most famous being the Everglades. This vast region has an abundant wildlife, with many beautiful birds such as the egret, spoonbill, and heron. During recent years, the people of Florida have drained much of their swamp and have made it into fertile land. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment on the video, and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with future videos. See you soon.